Thanks for staying with your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, here's the question. Do you battle with dry, flaky skin? And no matter how much you try lather yourself with moisturizer, you still seem to struggle with those dry skin conditions. It's a problem that so many people face. But caring for your dry skin goes beyond using a simple cream. It really does. With the right products and skincare routine, you too can have healthy, hydrated skin. And we chat this morning to general practitioner Dr. Graham Duncombe on the perfect skincare routine routine for your dry skin. Doctor, good morning. Thank you very much for making the time to chat to us today. Good morning, Teresa. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Are we all born with different skin types? So are, are there specific causes of dry skin, oily skin, etc., mm. you know, during our upbringing? Mm. You know, quickly, that's a brilliant question. We do have individual variations in our skin quality from inherited causes, but there are many environmental causes that can contribute to dry skin. So we have some genetic causes, and then we have environmental causes like allergies, and then we have metabolic causes like uh, hormone changes and thyroid issues. Mm -hmm. So it's a multifactorial condition, and it's very important to get to the root of the diagnosis in order to get the best relief from the skin condition. Mm -hmm. Doctor, let's double click on some of those conditions. What are some of those conditions that really do contribute to dry skin? Yeah, very good, very good to be so. I think one of the most uh, well-known is xeroderma, which is just a dry skin that I think most of us in our lifetime will experience at one time or another. And especially during cold months like winter where the air is very dry and uh, cold and it's more difficult for your skin to hydrate. But it progressively could get worse into other conditions such as allergic skin rashes, eczema, psoriasis plaques, and even a generalized skin dryness called ichthyosis, which is a debilitating condition. Mm. There are different types of dry skin conditions. Can you please unpack for us what these are exactly? Exactly. So if we look at how the skin retains its moisture, it's important that the skin's surface barrier is intact because you can think of it as a structure of roof tiles in a way of the cells. Mm. And if those roof tiles are not connecting correctly, you get separation between those cells, which we call a barrier breakdown process. Mm. And that allows more moisture to evaporate from your skin. And as that breakdown progresses, you get progressively worse conditions developing. Mm. Mm. Here's a question, and it's an important question. I know a lot of people with dry skin often do ask this question. What is your uh, recommended skincare routine for someone with dry skin? And are there specific do's and don'ts? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, uh, I think one of the most important processes is to moisturize, 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 and to use something that's got a medical type emollient uh, ingredient in it. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Dr. Graham Duncombe, for joining us this morning and shedding some light on this very important conversation, how we can take care of our skin yes. and achieve the perfect skincare routine. I trust that you will have a fantastic morning further. Thanks so much, guys. It was great to be here. Oh, some fantastic information there. Now, finding the right skincare routine and products is really all that you need to do in order to begin your journey towards a smoother, healthier, hydrated skin. We